What's up, babe? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if this is your very first time here. So today, y'all, we are going to be doing an everyday makeup routine. I like to do these every season, even though technically it ain't winter yet. More because of the month, less because of how the weather's feeling. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys my normal routine, what I'm grabbing for right now when I am beating my face just to go about my business, about my life, about my day. This video is made in partnership with Skillshare, and we're gonna hop right into it. Please make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also, make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so that you are updated when new videos go up. All right, babe, let's do it. Y'all, do not be like me. <laughs> this is how I keep my brows like in the shape that I want them because I always draw them on, but don't use this. Don't, don't be like me. Don't be like me. Because you've been in, took a whole eyebrow off, girl. Don't be coming and blaming Maya. Wasn't my fault. <laughs> So it has been a while since we have done just a regular everyday makeup routine. I like to update these like every season. And this is pretty much like my go-to products and techniques depending on the season. So like when I am actually up doing something, going somewhere, wanna look like something, this is my normal routine. But y'all, let me tell you, ever since I have gone full time, like especially now, I'm starting to realize the time that's on my hands. I've kind of calmed down to where I have more free time and sometimes y'all when you don't have to like get up and clock in for somebody it is hard to get up <laughs> it's hard to like just get up and put yourself on a schedule and kind of be you know your own boss a lot of us do have a lot of extra downtime right now so I've been trying to find something to do in my extra downtime to feel productive because like I'll be on schedule I'm posting you know I'm good but when I don't have like a lot of sponsorships going on and things like that I just have a lot of extra time so I have been spending some of my time on Skillshare. And if you don't know what Skillshare is, it is an online learning community. Where is my brush? For my brows, girl. But yeah, Skillshare is an online learning community and it is full of a lot of like thousands of classes. You can take up passions that you always had or learn more about like certain things that you have always been interested in. And then you can even go on there and learn just new skills as well as dive into the passions that you already have. The class that I have been taking is called Style Your Space, which is tips and techniques for interior design. And the teacher is Emily Henderson. But y'all know I've been like sprucing up my house, especially at a time where we have extra downtime and everybody's at home mostly. <laughs> and tell me to like decide my style and make better choices. <laughs> Sometimes I can go a little crazy with the gold <laughs> accents. There's a digital illustration class on there that I want Amira to take soon. Cause I'm about to buy her an iPad for Christmas and she draws and she wants to get into like digital illustration. So I feel like that would be really, really good for her. But they also have stuff on there about photography, iPhone photography for my content creators who want to get into taking photos and all you have is your phone as a resource. Video editing, lifestyle type of classes. The members get benefits of all of these different type of classes. So if you <laughs> are looking for something like I was to not just take up some of your time. Oh, the browns are looking good, y'all. <laughs> not just take up some of your time, but to also just intrigue your interest. I feel like Skillshare is perfect. And the platform is just all about learning and diving into new things. So there's no ads. So you really can just focus on your creativity or whatever it is that you're learning and I love that. The first 1,000 of my subbies to hit the link in the description box will get a free trial of a premium membership on Skillshare. So y'all yeah, wanna make sure that you click that, especially if you have any children or if there's something that you have been wanting to get into, y'all, they got everything. This is something that I'm gonna be doing in my free time instead of sitting on my butt watching The Office all doggone day. <laughs> That's what I did all day yesterday and the day before that. <laughs> <laughs> just allows me to be more productive. So hope you guys check that out in the link in the description box. The primer that I just used was my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And I literally always love to use that primer in particular because I feel like it really grips onto my makeup and makes it last all day. Especially when it is like winter time or it's getting colder outside, I need things to stick. Just like we need things to stick during the summer, we need it to stick during the winter too. That's like an all year round. Thing. So that's why I love Hydro Grip because it helps everything to just stay in place and not slip and slide and all that. I'm gonna use a new Huda Beauty Faux Filter Stick Foundation. And the reason I like to do a stick foundation when it is more like getting a little more chilly outside is because I feel like it has less 
what's the word? Slip. <laughs> I feel like I'll be looking for less slip when it's cold outside. I want it to just stick. I also don't want anything super duper matte either. So I'm keeping this more towards the center of my face. Cause I also want to limit how much product I'm putting on in general, especially in today's climate, which you know, Corona and the mask and all that girl. Mm. We want to make sure that we don't put on too much, too much product. But it's almost like you want to find a happy medium because you want a good product to stick on the skin, you know, and stay there. But you also don't want to put on too much. Typically, if we want that, we're like piling it on. <laughs> And that's not what we want to do. In the winter time, I also don't like to put so many products right on top of each other. So if you notice, I did keep this more towards the middle of my face. I don't really want to go into a lot of product around here foundation wise because, you know, I'm going to end up covering that up with something else. So what's the point of continuing to layer? I mean, of course, foundation is supposed to be your just that your foundation <laughs> for everything else to go on top of but when you're thinking about like the weather or trying to prepare your skin for certain situations uh, piling it up ain't good and then it just feels like you got a cake face so if you can avoid that avoid it i'm gonna go into my soul body bronzing balm and this is in the shade deep y'all know this has been my jam and i've been getting used to kind of like bronzing because I would consider this to be more of like a cream bronzer versus a contour or like a con deeper concealer contour. And this is like my, this is what I do. And I've been doing it before my lighter concealer. And I put a little bit in my part, you know, <laughs> to make sure I'm not looking crazy. But this is, you know, comparable to our Fenty Beauty cream bronzers. And I use this brush and I just stipple it where I want it to be. For concealer, I'm going into my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the shade Cafe. And this has been my go-to concealer as well. But did any of you guys actually watch The Office? <laughs> if you like The Office, girl, let me know in the comments. My sister and my brother have always been huge fans of The Office and I never actually sat down and gave it a chance. But y'all, I have just been binge watching The Office. But it's kind of been making me feel lazy, which is why I've been trying to be more productive with my time when I don't have anything else to do, you know? Cause after sitting on the couch for two days, at a time constantly you start to feel real lazy <laughs> and i actually personally hate that feeling so that's why i've been trying to find other ways to spend my time you know feed more into myself my self-care which is another way that i see you know my skillshare classes is another form of self-care and just like building yourself like as a woman as a person multi-dimensional but y'all the office has been cracking me up y'all only if you're into like dry humor though. And it's an old show, but <laughs> I know I'm late to the party y'all. I'm late to the party, but I have been entertained. Also, if you're looking for an affordable sponge, this one is the way to go. This one is from ColourPop, but I am gonna go back into the foundation brush. I'm not going into the brush that I use to put the cream bronzer on. I'm going into the foundation to kind of meet this line of demarcation in the middle and just buffing motions will get us our blend. So I feel like that was one of the biggest issues I had when I first started doing my makeup, like my full face like foundation routine was this. I have a big forehead, so you can really see that line of demarcation if you don't handle it, girl. And that always helped me, was going back in with whatever I used my foundation on, preferably a brush, and it gave me that gradient that I was looking for. And then I will also use it to go around anywhere else where I feel like blending was necessary. And it makes sense, use your foundation shade <laughs> to blend the other shades. Depending on where I'm going or what I'm doing, if I'm like going out with my friends and it's evening time, not out, out, y'all know social distance, but you might wanna step out. There's outside seating at a bar or something like that will do. I will go ahead in with a little of a lighter concealer, but not a whole lot, just enough to highlight and kind of bring it on my eye as well. But just to get more of a glam look versus a flatter everyday look. And with this flat blending brush, I'm going into the bronzing balm to sculpt this nose out. 
Y'all, I really think there are like some ways that I do my makeup that I'm leaving in this year. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be left in 2020. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna do a video on that, just showing you guys techniques that I am changing. So there are some things that I wanna change about my makeup routine going into the new year and just products and things like that. So look out for that video towards the end of the month, girl. We are going for a very flawless skin finish today. So I think that's about it. I think that's all I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. Y'all know my go-to is my Laura Mercier. Cause today I wanted to keep everything very true to what I usually would use on a regular basis. So far, the only thing that I have used outside of what I use, my go-to makeup products, is the Huda Beauty foundation. But I do always reach for a stick foundation these days. So at least I stay true to that, sis. At least. I have a lot of beginners watching me, sis. You do not have to be super like precise with your makeup when you're first, especially when you're first starting out. But in general, I don't think so. I feel like there's a lot of influencers, a lot of makeup artists that do very precise movements, a lot of very like precise lines and then blend it out with certain brushes to make it look a certain way and all that. I feel like beginners don't necessarily have to think about that. Cause you can get a flawless finish and a flaw. You can get a flawless finish and a flawless and a flaw. I cannot talk today. And a flawless look without all the extra bells and whistles. It can just be very basic. I usually am rushing if I'm doing my makeup, so I usually don't have time to reach for like a skin tone powder. So I'll go in with the lighter translucent powder. I'll make sure that I tap it off, cause y'all been getting on me for blowing my brushes. <laughs> And I'll just pat it into the skin everywhere else where I just need to set. So you always wanna make sure you set your entire face with powder, your entire face, because if you don't, then you just have a wet cream or liquid product on your face, which is easy to take off. Right now, if I put my finger across my face, nothing will come off. But if that was still wet, we would have a line on our face right now. <laughs> I'm gonna bronze with my bronzer from Minted. And I do have a new product video coming out soon, guys, because I have gotten a lot of new PR recently. Especially when I do my everyday looks, I like to make sure that I am true to what I actually grab for. And that's on my regular like makeup shelf or not shelf, but y'all know I got this table right here. It's my go-to. I leave these things out. When it's time to do my makeup, just to get up and go when I'm not filming. I know sometimes I use the same products over and over. And the reason for that is because that's what I'm actually reaching for and what I love the most. So some of you guys think that's helpful and some of you guys is annoying, but I feel like it's helpful because who's gonna go out and buy all these different things? I do like to show you guys how different things work, which is why we do like new product videos and stuff like that. But some of y'all be like, Maya, how in the world do you do all of this, girl? I'm trying to learn. Let me give y'all some perspective. I've been doing makeup for years on top of years on top of years. I started off just doing my brows and then getting into lashes. My first time wearing lashes was my junior prom and I never stopped wearing them since. <laughs> That's where the lash, like y'all be like, girl, you put the lashes on so quick. Part of that is editing. The other part is, when was I 16, 17, 14 years ago? <laughs> I've been doing them for 14 years, pretty much, so. But I didn't even start getting into like full face makeup till about four, three or four years ago. And it's just practice, girl. If you really wanna get something, you can get it, it's practice. But I will have to say some of it is a little bit of artistic ability <laughs> when it comes to eyes and eyeshadow. But regardless if you have artistic ability or not, I still feel like it is doable. If you set your mind on something, sis, we, we can do all things. I, I wasn't going there, but through Christ who strengthens me. <laughs> I just had to throw that in there. <laughs> That's what I'm used to saying after that. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, I'll be here cracking myself up. So if I do want a good snatch, I will go in with my sponge and my skin tone powder, kind of sculpt underneath my bronzer, just to give me a little bit more of a snatch look, but something that's still natural. And I will also use this to set my smile lines. For those of you who get crazy smile lines, that's just pet on in there. Preferably when it's wet, I'm a little late right now, but <laughs> when it's wet, I'll pat on in there with my skin tone powder and it'll help them stay at bay. That doesn't mean they're not gonna come. You got product on your face, it's gonna happen if you got deep smile lines, but you can prevent it from happening as soon as it probably would if you didn't do that. Now we got a little bit of a, a sculpt. 
Yeah, girl. And I'm gonna kill that line a little bit with this brush because it was a little too stark, but now, now we're good. <laughs> I haven't decided right now if I'm gonna do no eyeshadow or put on a little eyeshadow, but when I do put on eyeshadow, it's just like a flush of color. But for now, I am just going to go in with a little bit of concealer on my eye. I'm going to blend that out with my sponge. And then I have just a flawless eye. I feel like that's good when you are not trying to do the most. You have a flawless skin, so you want a flawless eye as well. You don't wanna leave your eyes bare. <laughs> go in with concealer and that way it matches the whole vibe of a full face that you already have. Why I'm doing this so far away. Y'all know how I like to do even though we ain't going too crazy. Come on. And you could have done all this concealer and stuff while you were doing your under eye, but I wanted to just show you guys as a different step for the eyes, but you can definitely do it during your routine. But yeah, it's nice and it's smooth. While it's nice and smooth, you just go in with a powder. It's up to you of how light you want it to be. You can go in with translucent or you can go in with a skin tone powder. I'm going in with my translucent while I have no creases. I'm just going to pat that right on top of my lid. If you want more control, I would say use more of a smaller flat brush to apply this, but you don't wanna bake. We're just pressing it onto the lid so that it is nice and smooth. And it just gives you a very nice smooth canvas, but a canvas that matches the rest of the face. And I feel like that is so like not spoken <laughs> when people do do this. You need that eye area to be as smooth as your under eye area, which gives that flawless skin look. When I am keeping my eyes real chill, I do like to get a little lit with the lashes. Let's just be honest. You guys know I got a PR patches from IMV recently and I've been using these. They're the True Fit Fluffy Effect with Split Tip. One of them is in 04 and the other one is in 01. This one's a little more chill. This one's a little thicker. I think I'm gonna go into the ones that are slightly more chill but they're still like real extra. I usually will put my glue on my lashes while I'm doing like mascara on the lid or like liner or something like that. But my go-to is usually to go in with a cat eye. But I'm not gonna do that today. Even if I don't do a cat eye, I will make sure that my eye is just lined in general because I just like for there to be a base on my eye for my lashes. For me, it's weird to just put my lashes just straight on my eyes without having a liner there. But even if it's just like that real thin right at the lash line, I feel like it looks better. It makes the band of the lashes blend more. So I am just gonna leave it like that. That way I have that base that I like. And this is my Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eye Pen, which is from Urban Decay. And I'm also using the Perversion Mascara from Urban Decay. But another thing y'all, I don't like to put my mascara on at the bottom until after my false lashes are on. Because you know, they need a moment to really like dry. And if I do it when I'm putting on my lashes, more than likely they're gonna get everywhere. So I like to wait for that reason. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my lashes. And in case you don't know, I do have a whole video about how to apply lashes for beginners. I will try my best to go ahead and link that for you guys right here. <laughs> well, one thing that helped me the most in my lashes is looking down into a mirror, as well as having talons to grab like they are tweezers. <laughs> I've never been a fan of, of tweezers putting on my lashes, so my fingernails always are helpful. So mascara is also going on my lower lash line. I did get a question from someone the other day saying, what if you don't have any lower lashes? I feel like a eyeliner is good for that. And even if you don't wanna do a liner all the way across, you can do like little bitty dots <laughs> of eyeliner underneath as well. And I feel like that's a good way to fake lower lashes. As long as ain't nobody about to be all up in your face, nobody will know. <laughs> So onto something that you guys already know about me. I'm not crazy about blush. I don't mind it these days, but I do not feel like we need a blush with this, especially with the more redder tone bronzer that's already there. I think it's unnecessary if I were doing my makeup, which I am right now, <laughs> just for every day, I would not throw on a blush with this at all. I like it nice, neutral, natural, no extra color to the face, just very cute and that's it. 
but if I am gonna throw one on, I'm gonna throw one on that is neutral. One of my favorite blushes that I use when I want something neutral and that's gonna kinda give me a little bit of a shimmer to my skin is this brush from the ColourPop by Mulan collection and this one is in Good Luck Charm. And I like this one because it does give a little bit of a glimmer to the skin and also gives a little bit of a neutral blush color as well. Cause that is gonna bring me to my next point is we are gonna use a little bit of highlighter, but I'm not crazy anymore about highlighter on my cheekbones, y'all. <laughs> so I like that this kind of gives me a little bit of a, you know, shimmer. It does have like some gold reflex in it. So I love that it has that, especially since I don't plan on going in with highlighter on my cheekbones. Right now my go-to highlighter is my Revolution Pro Supreme Highlighter Palette, as well as this Morphe Highlighter Palette as well. And this one is the 8S Highlighter Palette. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick to the Morphe one. And with my finger, I'm gonna dip into Mirage. And I'm gonna hit my top, matter of fact, I'm gonna mix Mirage with Big Bang, which is the gold right next to it. I'm gonna hit my top lip and my nose. And y'all know I actually can do this very, very fast. So <laughs> I know this might seem like a lot. And matter of fact, I'm not gonna use my, I'm not gonna use that because I'm gonna mess it up. I know a lot of you guys are like my what all it is every day. This is my every day. Like if I'm about to go somewhere, do something, wanna look cute while I'm out. But I am also very used to wearing a lot of makeup. You know, I'm used to putting it all on. So for me, if I wasn't sitting here talking to y'all and rambling like I usually do, this would take me about what? 15 minutes, I would say, about 15 minutes. And for me, that's a quick little beat. That's a real quick beat. But for every day, I'm pretty much just gonna leave it in those three places. If I wanted to, I can go ahead and with my inner tear, mm, I'm gonna do a little bit, very little bit of air tear -tear. Nothing too extra, too bright. I'm also about to die down this nose highlight too because she doing the most. And my sponge will usually take care of that. ColourPop just came out with a lippy pencil vault. <laughs> So I am gonna use one of these for my lip liner. The one I love the most is Control. Well, it's spelled C-T-R-L, but it's Control. It's a deep dark brown one. And I'm just going to use this to line my lips. And I always love ColourPop lippy pencils because they are super, super smooth. And in the middle, I'm going into this Buxom lipstick. This is in Heart Throb. This is their Full Force Lip Plumping Lipstick. And that is our lip. I kind of want to add a little bit of a gloss to this. So I'm going into the So Juicy gloss from ColourPop. This is another go-to of mine, especially when I want something nice and juicy and glossy. This So Juicy is so juicy. <laughs> that was corny, but it is though. And I love it. That is it y'all. I am gonna spray my face cause I got some stuff I need to do today. So I'm gonna keep our primer and our spray in the same family. This is the Milk Hydro Spray and I'm gonna use this to set the face. I always wanna dry it down or press it into the skin with a sponge and we done y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see the full finished look, how the skin is looking, the flawless finish that we have, which is perfect for winter and that's it. All right, y'all, that wraps it up for today's video. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring us today. Don't forget the first 1,000 of you babes to hit the link in the description box will get a free trial of the premium membership. Such a wonderful resource to have, especially if you have a little more downtime right now. That's what I'm doing. So I would love for you guys to partake in that as well. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought. Also make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.